hi guys welcome back to yellow tv new and returning subscribers welcome you guys so today's video we are going to be touring yeah touring <laughs> basically i'm going to take you guys around this planting and fruit market located at zuba i'm not really buying much i just want to see how the market looks like i've heard a lot about it so i decided to just go check it out and then do a video for you guys to see and know what you can get and what's available. So let's go. Well, man, I was... So we're in now. You guys know I'm a planting lover. If you're new to this channel, please check out my videos. I have so many delicacies you can make with planting. I mean, dear, so so many. So if you want to make a snack out of it, swallow, main meal, whatever it is, the choice is yours. <laughs> Guys, eat them now. And guys, word of advice: please ensure you wear a shoe that can take, I mean, that can go into the mud, <laughs> like literally. This market, oh, I just hope you'll be able to see the mud, the dirt, and everything from this video. But guys, if you can look closely, you would see that most of the people in this market are wearing rain boots like they are all most of them are wearing rain boots so ensure you're properly dressed wear something that is rugged like i didn't know even though the shower was not so bad but if i had known probably i would have made a different choice but it's all good we're here now i was trying to buy banana here and i got a bunch a good bunch for at about one five so i couldn't really capture it but the bunch wasn't so bad i got it for one thousand five hundred <laughs> So the rule of going to markets like this early still applies to this one. Guys, if you are a seller and you want to buy in bulk, you need to go early. There's no two ways about it. You need to go there early so you can buy from the suppliers directly. Because most of these people here have already bought from the suppliers and they are selling also to wholesalers. I don't know if, if what I'm saying makes sense. So people that bring them in, like most of these are brought in from from um, Edo states. Like I asked one of the sellers of planting where they source them from. And he says from Edo states, even though he was in Northern. So I was asking if he farms this or something. He said, no, 
they bring them from a do states and they book very early they, they are there early to book from the suppliers so they book and then they stack them like in dozens all of these plantains are in dozens of 12 so depending on the sizes of each of this plantain the amount is being fixed so if you want to buy as a retailer you want to buy just to consume you will buy from some women by the side those ones can just sell a bunch for you but for this ones here it's either you're buying all or you're not buying at all from them like they can't pick one and sell for you that's it <laughs> so i was able to buy a bunch of plantain which was almost ripe for a thousand naira yeah it was it was a good buy relatively yeah i would say it was a good buy but then if you're buying in bulk that's when you enjoy buying from this market to be honest like buying just one bunch or two uh from here it doesn't really i mean there's no difference with buying from the woman on your street so after that um i went through the fruit area i was able to buy watermelon bought two for one thousand five hundred it was also a good buy yeah and then they also sell pineapple at the other side so <laughs> The extension of this market also has um, other stuff you can get, basic stuff, like regular stuff you get in the market. But majorly, this market is known for planting and fruits such as banana, watermelon, um, I saw lime somewhere, eh, and um, pineapple. Yeah, so. <laughs> so that's it guys i hope you enjoyed watching this video as much as i enjoyed filming this for you so I'm gonna be bringing your way back to back market vlogs give me some thumbs up guys please subscribe if you are not like this video leave a comment you know all that good stuff so i see you next time bye